be doing a chatty get ready with me on this makeup look right here. I don't know if it's any different to like what I normally do, but you know. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what is your favorite makeup product. Let's get on with the video. Let's start this off by asking the good old Instagram for some questions to answer. You'd actually be very glad to know, but I have upgraded to two studio lights because I can no longer use my windows because they just ray a changing amount of light every second and it changes, it goes up and down. I can't deal with it anymore. So I'm just gonna delve straight into my makeup and start off by using the number seven Beautiful Skin Day Cream. I always use this because I have quite dry skin. I like dab some on and then rub it into my driest areas and this part of my nose, especially because I've got hay fever right now so I keep blowing my nose. Um, and honestly, someone at school said to me it was kind of like back to back. He was like, Evie, like, you're breathing really weird. And I was like, hmm? I have hay fever. Don't mess with me. It's only a bit of banter, friendly banter. I'm gonna go straight in and do some eyes first because I am feeling eyeshadow. I'm not the best, as you may know. Oh my gosh, my voice. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was weird, okay. I'm gonna start off with the Porefessional Face. Um, I've never actually tried any other primer. I've tried baby skin, but like. But yeah, I'm just blending. Oh my gosh, I've still got glitter in my eyebrow from yesterday when I had a Lush bath bomb. This is banter. I'm gonna start off with the Maybelline The Eraser Anti-Age. Anti-Age, what did I just say that? I'm being really cringy. Okay, just gonna put this all on my eyelid just as a kind of primer for the eyeshadow that I am about to put. That looks really weird, look at my eyes right now. I did see something the other day that was like, you should do your eyebrows first. Maybe I'm actually gonna do my eyebrows first. So I'm gonna start with my eyebrows now. I'm just dropping everything. Found it, I found! That is empty, I was gonna put a picture in it but I completely forgot. Get their shape back, I need to get them um, tamed. Very, I like to keep my eyebrows very pristine, very well kept. <laughs> I'm being actually really weird. I'm hoping that no one from school watches this because that's just embarrassing. I feel like at school though, I'm just like so like, mmm, because I don't want to be at school, you know? I mean, school's fun sometimes, but a lot of the time it's just like, GCSEs, don't wanna be here, don't bash into me in the cord. I feel like I'm my worst self in school because stressed, don't wanna be there, probably hungry, about to go and sit in an hour mass lesson that I don't wanna be in, you know. School's not a great time. Um, I love all the people in my year though because they make the lessons fun, but it's like, you know, in general, school's not, school's not a fun time, but I guess it's not meant to be a fun time. Um, uh, yeah, these eyebrows, I don't know what's going on with you guys today, but these eyebrows are not looking too great. Uh, the, I love it, like the one time I film and they mess up. It's just a classic. The eyebrows are sisters, not twins, so don't, don't get too upset when they don't look the same. Look at mine right now, they literally look like friends. That was just not a, a punny joke, you know? <laughs> This one's got a little bit wild, way too dark for my liking. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't know what to talk about because I don't normally do like chatty get ready with me's. I've done one with Livy before, but not by myself. Izzy! Please turn your music down. I'm filming. She says, blasting her music even louder than before. Oh, that's really intense. Okay. Okay, that's really intense. That's really intense. Oh, I'm not, I don't like that at all. I'm gonna, oh, change that one. You don't wanna take away the back of it because normally it's meant to be like a gradual change. It'd be really hard for me to edit because I'm gonna wanna chop out everything but it's meant to be chatty because I prefer fast paced videos. I take a brush from here and I'm gonna get a bit of concealer on the brush and just shape my eyebrows. I'm gonna add a bit of the Rimmel Brow This Way Clear Brow Gel. You hold those brows. Where is it? I haven't planned what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna roll with it. So I'm gonna start off by taking the color Raw Sienna and just take it into my crease, tapping off the excess product because we don't wanna go too crazy too fast. So I'm just gonna blend that in. That's it for the transition color. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the color Red Ochre next, like smaller brush. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. Like, what did I just do? 
Just joking. This is just a train wreck. What have I done? That. It'd be a risk for me because this is a very dark color. Blend and blend. Concealer to tidy up because as you can see I haven't really like tried to blend this middle bit out because I'm gonna be going over it with concealer. I'm using a little angled brush. This is the Zoeva 317 wing liner one uh, concealer. I'm now gonna go in with the color Primavera. To help this sit a bit more, I'm gonna spray some setting spray on it um, because the glitter's not going on. Take a little fluffy brush and try and like blend this in a bit more because it is quite harsh. Now for winged liner, I'm still yet to be able to do it on camera because I need to be like right next to my mirror, so. I'm going to do it off camera. I've done my wing liner, it's completely not even and the edges are really bad. So, so I'm going to tidy it up with a bit of Garnier Micella. Tidy up the eyeshadow a bit too. So now for the face makeup, I've already primed it earlier on. So I'm going to go straight in with my foundation. I'm going to start off by just putting dots of the foundation onto my face. And then you're in with the Silly Sponge. How cool is that thing? I actually did a video earlier on testing it out so I thought what is more fitting than to use that? I never actually normally apply it like this. I'm also going to use my beauty blender just to kind of tone it down and blend it down my neck. I'm then going to try and brighten up my under eyes by using the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I'm going to really brighten, brighten it up. This choker is like a line of where it's like pale and then like foundation. I didn't blend this out very good. Now I'm gonna take my Stay Matte on a big fluffy brow. The concealer with, oh my gosh, can you hear my stomach rumbling? Kind of set everything. I'm going to contour my face, so I'm gonna take this blush brush and just take it up a little bit up the top of my head. I'm baking my face right now with the Laura Mercier setting powder. I really like this one. It doesn't give any flashback, it's just it's just the one you want. You never normally wear this much makeup anywhere, like anywhere. And then I'm gonna blend it out. I don't wanna leave it on for too long. It's the Tarte Blush in Fearless and it's so pretty. I got the Becca Highlight for my birthday in Champagne Pop. Oh my gosh, get on my face. You are gorgeous. Look how stunning. Let me swatch this for you. Okay, look at that. See, the camera doesn't pick it up. Watch to go back to the eyes and just put a bit under my eye just to finish off the eyeshadow because it's so pretty. What? Okay. No idea what's going on. And I'm gonna just put, oh my gosh, this is. Okay, it's back on. Thanks for turning it back on. Appreciate it. Oh, mascara. I'm gonna be using the roller lash. I'm next going to apply the Demi Wispies on I'm going to wait for the glue to dry on them. Meanwhile, I'm going to go on to the lips. I'm going to go in with the colour Bleached from the Lime Crime. It's like a Lime Crime velveteen lipstick stain thingy. Um, So this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash a big thumbs up and subscribe. Comment down below if you want more makeup videos. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh baby, I love your madness. It's so hard.